Good morning, Hawks. Today is April 30th, Tuesday, April 30th. Attention, there are only three yearbooks left, so get them while you can. Juniors, make sure to buy your prom tickets soon. Today is the last day to do so. The more people, the better the dance. Hawks, as we enter the end of the year, it is time to start looking forward to the next year. Class elections will be held on May 23rd and campaigning will begin on May 13th. This means that if you are interested or planning on running for office, you need to complete and submit an application to Mrs. Brown in room 18 by May 6th. The following positions are available. Senior class president, senior class vice president, junior class president, junior class vice president, sophomore class president, sophomore class vice president, treasurer of any, all grades are allowed, secretary, any grades are allowed. The incoming, fre the incoming freshman class will elect their officers in the fall. Please talk to Ms. Brown if you have any questions. Thanks, Ox. Tomorrow is sports information night from 7 to 8.30 in the NPR. Interested in playing a sport next year? Please attend the sports information night for all incoming and current student athletes. Meet the coaches, learn about the LVCP athletic policy and procedures, and find out more about what to expect next year. Contact Coach Rick for more information at rrichardson at lvcp.org or by calling 925-456-9000. Saturday is the SAT. It will be from 8 p.m. No, I mean, it will be from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. Get a good night's sleep and, get, and eat a good breakfast. There is going to be an AP information night on May 8th from 6.30 to 7 in the NPR. We will provide information about the AP programs, classes, testing, workload, expectations coming from the AP classes and more. That is all for now and now on to an announcement. LVCP. And welcome to World News. Be careful all the things you email and all the things you download on your computer, LVCP. A bill has passed named CISPA spelled C-I-S-P-A, and it has been passed, which allows the government officials, police, and etc. to search your computer without a warrant. This bill violates the Fourth Amendment. The amendment prohibits unreasonable se search and seizures and sets requirements for search warrants based on problem causes. North Korea is going through an extreme food famine, as the government begs Mongolia for food imports. A chilling video reveals a 10-year-old boy dying of starvation on the streets. The starvation in North Korea is getting so bad that the general population is even starting to shrink in size. North Korea used to be taller of their South Korean counterparts, but now North Korea would be lucky if they can grow over 150 centimeters. In other news, Google has been fined $189,167 in Germany for collecting user data using the Google Street View vehicles. As the incident occurred in Europe, the Google Street View vehicle had become under scrutiny both in Europe and the U.S. Hello, LVCP. This is Mr. Dean. I would like to talk with you guys today about SATs. They are this Saturday at 8 a.m. So first thing I want to talk to you guys about the SAT is even though it says it starts at 8 a.m., I would plan on being there really, really early just to make sure that nothing goes wrong on your way to the SAT. Plan on being there at like 7.30, 7.15. You think I'm crazy, but you're going to find out that when you guys show up um, there on SAT morning here at LVCP at 8 a.m., there's like going to be tons of people that are waiting, and probably there's going to be a lot of people waiting at like 7.30. Okay, a couple things that you guys need to remember for this Saturday. First of all is an admission ticket. Online, when you sign up for the SAT, you get like a printout and it's admission ticket and there's like a picture of you up in one corner and there's like all sorts of information like your birthday and all sorts of stuff like that. You guys absolutely must have that in order to be admitted for the SAT. That's not a decision that any one of your teachers can make. That is something that's like required for you to take the test. Very, very important. Also, too, is you're going to need to bring your photo ID to the SAT. Also something that is really, really, really critical uh, for your success for being admitted to the SAT. You will not be admitted to the SAT out there, juniors and possibly sophomores. There might be a few sophomores out there that could be taking the SAT. But in particular, juniors, you guys won't be admitted if you do not have your ID or your admission ticket. 
cereal. We're super cereal about that. So um, we're, gosh, we'll see you guys on Saturday at 8 a.m. and back to Manny. Today in advisory, all classes will be having a silent reading period. Teachers will be checking binders, planders, and grades. Juniors will be working on the history benchmark questions. Teacher will, teachers will discuss the provided benchmark questions at history. The start of advisory. Thank you, Hawks and Gazebo.